I'm Zoe and I do liberal arts. I'm from North London, I'm from a Jewish community. Um, I went to a Jewish private school. I grew up with my mum, my dad and my sister. Um, I've always had dogs growing up and I've always had an interest in film, TV and American studies, which is why I wanted to study liberal arts at the University of Nottingham. I'm very into musical theatre and I used to do a lot of performing when I was younger, although I haven't done very much since because I can't really sing anymore. Um, I also, like I mentioned, I love doing film and TV and I love editing and that's what I think I want to do when I am finish uni and graduate. I chose to come to university because it's just something like I've always thought about and always wanted to do before I started working. There's no need to start working as soon as you finish sick form and I knew I wanted to come to university. Um, I chose Nottingham because of the campus, of how beautiful it was. I came to visit with my sister on an open day and she actually went to the University of Nottingham, although she's 10 years older than me. And originally I did not want to go to the same university as her, but once I saw the campus I couldn't take my eyes off it and I knew I wanted to be here. So I did everything that I could to get here. I thought that I'd be really nervous when I first came and that wasn't the case at all. Like within the first week I'd met so many people and I was like having the best time. Um, I thought there'd be a lot more like going out than there is. Like I go out maybe once, twice a week and it's not too overwhelming, but I don't love clubbing. So it's quite nice that there's so much other stuff to do, like to get involved with societies and I'm part of the Jewish society here as well which is nice to be part, like to see people that I know from home or don't know from home, but part of the same sort of community. Uh, I've also done scuba diving since since coming to university and I've met the most amazing people. And I guess that was something I never thought I'd be doing. And just the society that in the first week made me think, hey, maybe I can do this. And that's what I did. I thought it would be a lot more difficult than I've been founding it actually. I know that's quite a weird thing to say, but like I didn't think I'd be doing as well as I did because I was like a like a CB student at A level and like even before then GCSE. But I've really like excelled at uni and I haven't like got very many scores below a two one, which is obviously a very good grade. So I'm really happy with that and I'm really enjoying uni work. One memorable experience that I had was in November. It was when I was qualifying for my scuba diving like course my ocean diver and we went to the lake district with a storm being predicted um we got there and it was snowing we could barely get out the van and it turned out that we were stuck in our accommodation with no power no wi-fi no service for two days and it was actually like the most like probably like one of the best experiences i've had because it was just so fun um, we didn't get to do very much scuba diving. We did one day as opposed to two. And um, once we got out the water after the first dive on the Sunday, it was like an inch of snow and it was absolutely freezing. And we thought the lake was going to like ice over, <laughs> but it was really fun and a really good weekend. Uh, I'd say maybe like my first time meeting like my course tutor and my head of year for liberal arts was really nice because like instantly like they knew my name they knew who I was and ever since then they've been really helpful um with everything like even this week with my year abroad application like it's been such a hassle because I'm trying to go on a full year but not add a year onto my degree and they've been really really helpful throughout and like they're they're not like listening to the study abroad team they're listening to me and trying to help me with like getting on the whole year abroad as opposed to just the semester so I'd say throughout they've just been really helpful. I'd say my favourite place on campus for studying would be Monica Partridge Building. I really like the social environment of like when you want to study but you also want to have a bit of fun when you're not like pushed for deadlines. It's a really good way to go, a really, pl really good place to go and be able to study without the pressure of just sitting in a room for hours on end on your own with the social side of things. I really enjoy going to Mooch and just like walking around the Portland building. Um, I just really love the student union and I think it's a great place to wander around and either if you're with friends or you come and you see random people that you know and end up having like a conversation with like someone I knew from, 
from my foundation year I saw him last week and we ended up spending like seven hours in the library afterwards just from me like randomly seeing him in hall in the Portland building I really love Nottingham as a city uh, I love that there's like loads of shops and it's easy to get to from the tram or the bus nights out are really good there's never a dull moment when you go into the city because there's always something different to do uh, I also really like that we're really near the Peak District. I've gone on a couple of hikes with what, like some of my closest friends and we've had like the best times, taken some really great photos and it's really nice that we're so near. Probably the independence and the fact that I can cook for myself and like just like learning about living on your own and being able to do that but in a kind of controlled environment. Like the fact that we've got the Res X team if we need anything like on campus. Um, is really useful. I think the best thing about being a Uni of Nottingham student is that you've got the greenery all around you where you're living, whether that be Wollerton Park or on campus, but you're a 10 minute tram drive away from being in a city, which is really nice. I love liberal arts and I can't see myself like doing any other course now because I love the fact that I can choose whatever I want to do. Like I'm building my own degree I'm able to do modules from all different subjects and it's just so amazing that I don't have any restrictions on what I can do. Like we have 40 credits of compulsory modules a year and then the other 80 credits are just completely like free reign to do whatever we want to do. So I've chosen like history modules, film and TV modules, all the way over to psychology. It's just very diverse and a really great way to do a degree and be able to choose what you want to do. I don't think I could have been any more supported than I have been by my tutors and head of course. Um, the whole liberal arts faculty is so so helpful mainly because it's such a small degree there's only about 250 or more of us on like over the three years so it's really like nice that all of the faculty that are liberal arts specialists know you. Like you'll come into the lectures and if he asks a question, he'll know my name, he'll be like, oh, Zoe, answer the question or something like that. Uh, same with the seminars. And I just really like that it's like a small environment where you can like be really supported by your tutors. I'd say that Moodle has inspired me the most just because of how useful it is to a university student. I don't think I'd be able to complete my degree without the help of Moodle and all the other online tools that the university gives us. Outside of my studies, I have been really lucky to become a subject ambassador and this has helped me grow in confidence with like talking to people and making speeches, um, telling people to come do my course because it's amazing. Um, I'd also say that being a student vlogger has been really nice because it's helped me like realise that I want to do editing after I finish uni and like finding that out so early on in my uni career means that I'm able to have more opportunities like this and be able to like find work experience and placements that can help me get there. Next year I'm hoping to be going to the University of Connecticut to study for a semester and then hopefully I'll be also studying at the University of Nottingham in Malaysia. And I'm really excited for both, and both give me completely different opportunities. Uh, Connecticut's gonna really help me with my American studies side of my degree that I really enjoy, and I'm hoping to do more modules on. And then the Malaysia side is gonna help me with like the education side and just to completely, like have a completely different experience at like a familiar, destination so it's very similar to Nottingham all the teaching is going to be the same but it's in Malaysia I'd say maybe like the fact that I'm trying my best to say yes to everything um, whereas before I was quite quiet and didn't didn't necessarily say yes to a lot of things like I learned in Freshers Week someone told me in Freshers Week to just say yes to everything and as you can see with the scuba diving, I've clearly done that. Um, and yeah, I've just kind of taken every opportunity to put myself out there with the vlogging, the student ambassador, and just want to make my university experience worthwhile. Um, I'd say probably like essay writing and time management, as well as organization. Before uni, I was very, very disorganized 
hence why I probably didn't do very well in A-levels or GCSEs. But being in uni taught me that I need to be organised in order to get my assignments done on time, because if they're not, then it's automatic penalties, and I just know I don't want that at all. So I guess like I've learned how to be more organised and how to actually work, which I definitely didn't know before. Like I never used to study, couldn't, didn't know how to study. I'd say the most demanding thing about being at university was learning how to become organised and learning how to like manage doing six different modules at a time and how to just kind of how to like live on your own and live independently. And I'd say that my tutors have helped me a lot with this like with the organization stuff like I meet I meet with them like twice a year and they'll just go through everything and we talk about how I'm doing how I'm being organized and that's really helpful I hope that my future looks like me being an editor in for a big film company hopefully although it's quite ambitious um back up would probably be going into marketing or PR I'm hoping to get some placements from Nottingham that will be able to help me with that. Having a degree from Nottingham will mean a lot to me. Having a group, like having a degree from a Russell Group Uni, uh, is really important, and I think that it's really going to help me take the edge over other applicants when applying for jobs. My dream thing would to become a big shot editor, big shot producer for a Hollywood company.